Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with construction project management in the topic of project scheduling and resource leveling. So the first question, the time which results in the least possible construction cost of an activity is known as option A normal time, option B slow time, option C crash time, option D standard time. So the correct answer is option B slow time. So next question. The constraint in case of resource smoothening operation would be option A resources, option B project duration time, option C both resources and project duration time, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B project duration time. So next question, the time with which direct cost does not reduce with the increase in the time is known as option A crash time, option B normal time, option C optimistic time, option D standard time. So the correct answer is option B normal time. So next question updating may result in option A changes of critical path, option B decrease of project completion time, option C increase of project completion time, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. So next question what is the process of incorporating changes and rescheduling or replanning called? Option A resource allocation, option B resource smoothening, option C resource leveling, option D updating. So the correct answer is option D updating. So next question, which one of the following is the base for resource leveling? Option A delaying the completion of critical activities, option B delaying the start to non-critical activities, option C reducing completion time of critical activities option D not delaying the completion of critical activities so the correct answer is option B delaying the start of non critical activities so next question in resource leveling option A the total duration of project is reduced option B the total duration of project is increased option C uniform demand of resources is achieved option D cost of project is controlled so the correct answer is option B total duration of the project is increased so next question, in the construction project, the cost slope of an activity is indication of option A, extra time needed, option B, extra cost needed, option C, reduction of duration of critical activity, option D, crashing of an activity. So the correct answer is option B, extra cost needed. So next question, which one of the following is the objective in crashing? Option A, reduction in duration, option B, reduction in resources, option C, reduction in cost, option D reduction in project size so the correct answer is option A reduction in duration so next question which of the following is the correct sequence to analyze a project for implementation option A time cost study comma network WBS scheduling with resource allocation option B network time cost study scheduling with resource allocation WPS option C WPS network scheduling with resource allocation time cost study option d wps time cost study network scheduling with resource allocation so the correct answer is option c work breakdown structures network scheduling with resource allocation and time cost study so next question the optimum duration is the option a the summation of normal duration of each activity is in the project. Option B, summation of normal duration of activity on the critical path. Option C, one which gives them minimum total cost for completing the project. Option D, summation of crash time of the activities in the critical path. So the correct answer is option C, one which gives the minimum total cost for the completing the project. So next question, in the time cost analysis, the cost slope is defined as option A, crash cost minus normal cost divided by crash time minus normal time, option B, crash time minus normal time divided by crash cost minus normal cost, option C, crash cost minus normal cost divided by normal time minus crash time, option D, normal cost minus crash cost divided by normal time minus crash time. So the correct answer is option C, crash cost minus normal cost divided by normal time minus crash time. So next question, in the time cost optimization using CPM method for network analysis, the crashing of the activity along the critical path is then starting with the activity having option A longest duration, option B highest cost slope, option C least cost slope, option D shortest duration. So the correct answer is option C least cost slope. So next question, 
A construction schedule is prepared after collecting option A number of operation, option B output of labor and machinery, option C quantity of various items, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. Again we will see next video. Thank you.